Hello everyone. In this video, we shall look at identifiers and keywords. An identifier, which is also referred as name given to a variable, function, class or module. There are some set of rules you should follow while naming any of these. So an identifier can contain a combination of letters, digits or underscore. Of course, letters are both uppercase and lowercase. And an identifier can always start with a letter or underscore it should not start with a digit and it must not contain spaces or special characters it can contain only these three letters digits or underscore and most importantly an identifier cannot be a keyword you will learn about keywords in a moment but bear with me and understand that identifiers cannot be a keyword and the length of identifiers can be anything but in practice, try to limit the length of identifiers to 79. It's a good practice to have meaningful names at the same time, keep them short while following all these rules. The identifiers are case sensitive. That means the uppercase and lowercase letters are considered different. Now let's look at some examples. These are the valid identifiers. All these identifiers are following the rules that we have stated above. Out of all these, no identifier starts with a number that does not contain a space or a special character. They are not keywords. And if you observe, we have sum where all characters are uppercase and this sum where all characters are lowercase. In Python, these two are different identifiers because identifier is case sensitive. Now let's look at some invalid identifiers. Here 2 plus is starting with digit so this is not valid and my home is having a space in it so this is not a valid identifier and my at salary is not valid because it has at the rate symbol which is a special character in this identifier so this is not valid. Now let's look at keywords. There are certain words that are reserved for doing specific tasks. These words are known as keywords and they have standard predefined meaning in Python. You cannot use a keyword as an identifier for variables, functions, constants or any identifier name. Here are the list of keywords that we have in Python. There are 33 keywords that are available in Python. We shall use almost every keyword that is displayed here in our course. Apart from these keywords, you should also not use the predefined identifiers for naming your own identifiers. So Python provides us with some predefined identifiers like built-in data types where we have int, float, list, string and so on and we have built-in functions like input, print and so on. Then we have built-in exceptions like file not found error, module not found error and so on. So you should avoid using these identifiers also for naming your own identifiers. Now you must be asking how do I know whether an identifier falls into any of these categories. So for that Python provides us with a function which can display all the predefined identifiers. So the built-in function to display all the predefined attributes is dir. So if I call this dir function without any arguments, it will display all the predefined attributes that we have in Python. So here we have annotations, built-ins, doc, loader and so on. So at this point of time, we are interested in built-ins. So if I provide built-ins as an argument to dir function, it will display all the built-in attributes that we have in Python. There are about 130 names in this list. Those that begin with a capital letter are the names of Python's built-in exceptions. The rest are functions and data type names. Avoid using any of these identifier for naming your own identifiers.